What's going on guys? Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Today we're doing something a little different and we are testing something very, very cool. Big shout out to Patasco Bicycle for giving us access to this amazing bike, which it came out a few months ago, but we finally, 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 finally got to ride the new Epic A Pro. This is such a nice color, guys. I don't know why. I don't know if you can see this on the uh, video, but I don't know why they didn't make this colorway the S works. Um, I'm a big fan of the Epic 8. This is kind of like my uh, ride style, which is kind of like XC. So I did a few rides today. I might get you guys another video, maybe next week, more of like ripping to stuff, but today, I wanted to show you this is an epic eight out of the box so got dropped off today oh, i thought someone was riding by i'm like in the middle of the trail here but it got dropped off today big shout out to our local um uh demo guide uh dave who dropped it off for us and uh, we have this one and we have another epic eight at the shop so this is the epic eight pro out of the box this is what it looks like and um, I'm gonna kind of like run through the components so you guys get an idea of what it comes with. So as you can see in the back, it has a carbon robo control wheel, uh, it has a, a Renegade, uh, is that what a, a Renegade? I uh, believe this is a maybe 2.0, 2.3. So XO cassette, XO uh, derailleur. This is the new trans transmission by SRAM uh, at the front we have a XO and this one comes with a power meter so that's cool uh, 34 uh, chain ring in the front I think that's the new I've been uh, seeing a lot of new bikes come with a 34 uh, chain ring so I don't know if that's the new uh, normal for uh, companies to send out the uh, bikes with but uh, yeah uh, it also has uh, the uh, fact carbon 11 uh, mil comes with two bottle cages and this is one of my favorite things on the bike which is the swap i know a lot of people don't like it but i think it's very very cool to have this uh, on your bike just because it has a uh, you know you have the option if you are doing uh, endurance riding you can keep some of the stuff there and just you know if you don't like wearing jerseys you can kind of like keep your essentials in there so that's very cool i'm a big fan of the uh, uh swap um on the down tube uh on the shock we have a zit lux ultimate rock shock and this is one of my favorite things on this bike i don't know if you can see it there with this camera but it has the locking system to where you can lock if you're climbing you can lock your bike uh, your uh, suspension and your uh, rear shock at the same time and that's very cool like if you're doing a lot of climbing you can just lock it and i and i tested that uh i'm doing like maybe like 10 miles today but i tested it on some of the climbs here at potasco and it's just locked man it feels like you're riding a full hardtail rigid i gotta keep looking because they might be riders coming from from that side of the trail from over there so i gotta be careful but um but yeah but i'm a fan of the lacking system and it's right here let's see if i can get it on the camera uh so it's right here it has open pedal and lock so and then all the way at the end it doesn't make it to the it doesn't make it to the lock but uh but yeah the only thing with this that i don't know if um if i'm a fan if if I don't like this grip, I can see this grip will kill me in an endurance ride. So maybe removing this and adding one of the silicone ones more. I don't know if you can do that or if this is kind of like all together. That's one of the things that I didn't kind of I didn't really like. But other than that, you have a bike joke um, for your dropper pose. Uh, bike joke uh, dropper pose right there. I think it's an SL Divine SL and. Um, Man, this color, guys, this color is just beautiful. It's like a two-tone. Um, I'm colorblind, so I'm the worst at uh, explaining this color, but it's cool. Uh, it has the uh, cables coming out of there. It has the S S-Works handlebar. 
these are the level slv uh, brakes tram of course uh, the new shifter and uh, you can see right there in action yeah i think it needs to be tweaked it doesn't make it all the way to the back uh, of course at the front it has a, a set ultimate it has the 350 dt swiss hubs and in the back of course has the same 350 dt swift swift uh, swiss and uh yeah let me know if you guys have any questions uh this is gonna be in our shop for the next couple of days if you want to come and check it out in person at the Elkridge location we have two for uh demo that you can see uh and if you say you watch this video on the mbm tv i don't know maybe they let you take it for a spin or get you a nice discount on the new specialized epic 8 pro this is the pro version which it comes with a little more uh, upgrades. And after this one is the uh, S-Works. So hopefully, specialize if you're watching this. Let us test an S-Works with the ultimate suspension, with the flight attendant suspension. I would love to test that on a, a long ride. So specialize, let us know if we can demo something like that. But, uh, but yeah, this is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bike um, to own. Uh, I love the color, I can't, if it was me owning this bike, I would do a couple upgrades. As you know me, I would remove the dropper pose and just leave it rigid with no dropper pose. And on these bars, I would put the Robo uh, cockpit. Man, this bike would look mean with the cockpit. But uh, that's just my personal opinion of this bike. Uh, but yeah, it's nice. Uh, let me know if you guys want some pictures. Uh, send me a message, email, but... Uh, yeah let me know what you guys think i just wanted to throw this video out there if someone is thinking about getting the new specialized epic pro it's a beautiful 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 color i'm gonna say and i might get hate for this on the chat but uh i think this is the nicest color on the epic 8 edition of this year um i wish they should have done this on the s work man this this color oh if they release an s works a frame version of this one like this i'm a fan of it so let me know what you guys think thank you so much guys for the support that i've been getting lately um we're in the route of getting 10,000 subscribers i don't know if it's too much to ask for this year but i appreciate all of you guys support uh keep liking the video keep subscribing if you're not subscribed to the channel um i'm gonna be putting more con uh, content like this we've got a cannondale bike coming out uh later uh this week so we're going to be releasing some of those videos but thank you so much guys for tuning in hope you guys are having an amazing weekend i'm going to try and get this video out today which is sunday so i hope you guys are having an amazing sunday i hope you have a, an amazing monday tomorrow starting the week so get some miles in tag me on your pictures tag me on your videos if you're out there on the trails and i'll see you on the next one